hello again, everybody. This is Atlas. Uh, I'm here with a Tachikaze deck profile. Uh, Matt has been, you know, paring down, so I got the deck from him. So this is his stuff. But I, you know, it's my, like, I, I updated it with the GB10 stuff. So let's see how this goes, shall we? Um, starting off, we have Baby Camara. Uh, he is a GB1. Uh, with Forerunner, and when he is retired during your turn, you can counter blast one and Superior Call a Grade 1 card from deck, and it gets plus 3k. So, with that, you can use it to, uh, you know, search out for Freezer Nix or um, Savage Heroin, and yeah, it's just a good card because he replaces himself when eaten. Uh, this especially gives you more mileage with uh, Gaia's Stride still because you can get your card back and a new card. So, very useful starter. I've seen people run him at two, but I, 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 don't, I just don't like it doing that. So, he's at one. Um, four copies of Emperor Dragon Gaia Emperor. So, he is the same grade three from last time. Uh, GB, he's got Engorged, so on attack you can retire any number of rear guards and he becomes Engorged until end of turn. And uh, GB2, when he is engorged, he gets plus 5k and a crit. And uh, when you stride on top of him, you can counterblast two, call up the two cards from hand, then choose two rear guards, and they get red text. When they retire, they get called back. So this can turn your uh, eat my stuff effect into uh, new attacks. So you attack with a call and then eat it, and it calls itself back. Uh, still the preferred ride. Still looks awesome. Still a great card. Um, four copies of... Frenzy Emperor Dragon Gaia Desperado. Hear that, Wikia? Yeah, it wasn't Desperado, it, or it wasn't Death Parade, it was Desperado. Um, so he's got Engorge also, and then he's, his GB2 is Vanguard or Rearguard. If he's Engorged, he gets plus 5,000, and if he's on the Vanguard, he gets a crit. So it's pretty much the same effect as the old one, it's just that uh, he can, you know, do stuff as a Rearguard too, which is nice, but what isn't nice is his stride skill. So. When you're when you stride on top of him, your vanguard gets red text. When it becomes engorged, oh, it, it's got to be an engorged vanguard, but that's not really a problem. When it becomes engorged, you counterblast one and draw a card. So, if you eat two things with old Gaia, you get two things back. If you eat two things with new Gaia, you draw a card. Yeah, you pretty much never want to be on him. The only reason I can see him being useful to ride on is a for the name, because there are a lot of things that like if you have a Gaia vanguard, and b. If you're playing against Link Choker and it's not like you need more attacks anyway, you just need cards. Um, in any case, the the less vibrant colors of him kind of convey how good he is, I guess. That didn't make any sense. Um, just say you don't want to ride him. I don't want to ride him. Four copies of Tank Mammoth. So, I find this arguably the most useful card in the deck. Um, he is an 8k grade 2 that when he is retired during your turn, you can or just put drops under in your turn. You can counter blast, soul blast, call him back and he gets 3k. So this is where you're going to get most of your multi-attacking from, where you attack with him as a column, then you eat him, and then he gets called back as an 11k attacker. So this is also not GB restricted, so you can do engorge shenanigans in the early game and just get, you know, little pokes out on your opponent. If they made an SP version of this card, I would totally buy it. Four copies of Explosive Dragon Sarkablaze. So his skill is Engorge, and then when he is Engorged, when he attacks, your opponent can't guard with grade zero. So this turns into a Silent Tom. Uh, it's a really good way to do early game stuff, and then on top of that, uh, if it's late game and you're doing this on your Dogma turn, your opponent can't use triggers to guard, it's pretty much a useful card any time of the game. Um, and it's also not an 8k like Tom. It's got a point there. Uh, two copies of Beam Dragon Aptimazer. Matt, I'm sorry. Uh, he is a 9k grade 2 is the Glimmer clone, so he's got Engorge, and then GB1, Counter Blast 1, Soul Blast 1, when he's played, if you got a Gaia Vanguard, which is a lot easier now, uh, you, he gets 2k, and then Red Text, when he becomes Engorged, he, you draw a card and he gets plus 5k. Most of the thing, the, most of the reason I run him is that he's another card with Engorge, and on top of that, uh, it's really because it's in competition with this, Conflagration, Dragon, Gigant Flame. So Gigant Flame's an 11k. He's got Engorge, and then he's got a skill that uh, if you don't have a Gaia Vanguard or another Engorged unit, he can't attack a Vanguard. And then the last skill is GB1. He gets 5k for every other Engorged unit. The problem 
is that if your opponent doesn't play any rear guards and you have to ride Gigant Flame, you're kind of SOL on attacking with him, which means you can't drive check. So having as many Engorge units as possible to artificially trigger him if you want to ride him, because 11k base is nice. Or, uh, I just like, like, your other option is 10k Vanillas, which are fine. I did that for a while, but, um, I find Aptimazer to be somewhat useful any time of the game, especially because the soul problem has gotten a little easier to deal with. Um, so yeah, that's the great two lineup. Did that make any sense? What? The the whole Aptimazer argument that I just I mean, Apotomazer yeah. has this bonus of having the having the ability of going gorge on him. Yeah. I thought like I find when I did play him, using a skill was just generally a bad idea. Like you can just play him as a vanilla 9k and gorge, and yeah. he's still worth something just by having the engorge ability. That's pretty much he's, why. like extra copies of Sarka Blades. Yeah. And he doesn't have the same downside that um Gigant Flame has. Yeah. So I think that is a like people I think that is a defensible line. Yeah. But um I don't think the downside of, Gig of Gigant Flame is as bad as it seems. I mean, having to ride him, that's the downside. Yeah, where, yeah, yeah. The, but that is like, if you keep him at like two or three, it's like a pretty yeah. low to room games that happens. Yeah. But yeah, I, I can understand the difference. I mean, I, I've experimented with less beam uh, Aptimazer, more uh, Conflagration Dragons, but, you know, feel free to experiment because uh, Gigant Flame is like a dollar, so that's fun. Uh, great ones, four copies of the Unflip PG, Counter Blast is very heavy in the deck due to Stride Skill and Aptimazer and your Strides and all that stuff. Plus she looks fucking awesome, so I, I like her. Um, four copies of Prism Bird, uh, despite the fact that you have eight copies of a uh, Grade 3 with Gaia in the name, you want to be on one of them. So being able to use that to find your preferred Gaia is important, and also it's a stride deck, so good to have. Um, four copies of Cold Dragon Freezer Nix. So he's a grade one GB1 when he's retired during your turn. You counter charge one, soul charge one, and uh, oh, you need a guy of Vanguard for this too, but again, easy to do. Uh, counter charge one, soul charge one, then pick a unit and give it plus 2k for the turn. So this is basically where your soul and, you know, unflip engine comes from, aside from the PG and, you know, your triggers. Uh, it's very important, and uh, if you want to have any semblance of keeping resources, I would run this. It's Nine times out of ten, he's your call target from uh, Baby Jamera. So, yeah. Very important, very helpful. If you decide you want to run some kind of tech card in there, you can drop one, but I really haven't found anything that, you know, outdoes him. Uh, two copies of Savage Heroine, so she's uh, 6k grade 1. She, she has Engorge herself, so for some reason, she can take down a grown tank mammoth by herself. Good for her. And then the other skill is, uh, during your turn, she gets plus 3k for every Engorged unit you have. So that counts herself, that counts your Vanguard, that counts everybody else. So when you call her via Baby Chimera, she's at 9k, and then because your Vanguard's gonna be Engorged, like, all the time, she's at 12k, which means 12 plus 9 is a 21k a, you know, column with Sarka Blaze. So, very good card. Um, also, you can do her early game, which is cool. Uh, triggers, we have four copies of Savage Healer. Best art, run that. Uh, four copies of Cannon Fire Dragon uh, Paris Launcher. Paris Launcher. So, use your Heart Thumb clone. Uh, this gives you early attacks, uh, early soul, early aggression, is a crit trigger. Need I say more? Um, three copies of Ancient Dragon Dino Dial. So he's a crit trigger that when you shove him in soul, you unflip a damage. Those are two problems we had, and now with him, we have less of that problem. So Why are you playing with the wrong art? Dude, the new art is the better art. All right. I don't care. You're allowed to have wrong opinions. It's the, it's the new age of Tachikaze. Um, so Matt is somewhat right, though. The, uh, the new art is in the new set, which means you have no excuse to not go find this. Yeah. Um, and then I run four copies of Sledge Ankylo, and then one Savage Notice. So it's five draw... Uh, Solo Notice? No, Savage Notice. Solemn. Yeah. Five draw, uh, seven crit. So um, I do, you, you do have a little bit of a hand problem, because you don't really call anything from deck, except for baby Tamara turns. So, being able to dig for the cards you need is nice, and then also, if you need to call stuff to eat, like, losing a 5k draw trigger is way 
less painful than losing your dino dial. So I, I like it as it is right now. I occasionally go back to 8-4, but one thing's for sure, there is no reason to run stand traders in here. Coal Magnum is terrible. All right. G-Zone. <laughs> what, the thing about Coal Magnum? Or he's people laughing about something Cole else. Magnum, man. Yeah, people love Coal Magnum, and it is stupid. All right. Uh, four copies of Great Emperor Dragon Gaia Dynast. So he is the new stride from GBT-10, and he is also, like, Five dollars, which is really nice. Um, so his skill is he has Engorge also, um, and then he has GB3. When something is retired by him, you can counterblast, call the card, uh, call the card back, and then the card called and he, him get plus three K each. You're not really going to use that effect much unless you rode Gaia Desperado in a fit of desperation. Oh, I guess that does fit. Um, but the important thing is that he's got a skill that when he becomes engorged, you can flip up a copy of himself, pick a rear guard, and burn or retire everything in that column. So what what that means is you can engorge one side, pick something on the other side, and then retire all of your opponent's things in that column. So this is really good in that um, you know it still activates Gaia's stride skill and whatever else things you have like Fraser next because they don't care how they're put in the drop zone or uh, from rear guard, they just care that they're put in the drop zone from rear guard. So he's a very important stride to have. He's your first stride nine times out of ten, the only exception being if your opponent doesn't have rear guards to retire. And then also you can use him in the later game to like, you know, get more attacks off and uh, also he counter charges when you burn the column, so that's really nice. I don't, I don't know if I said that earlier. Um, yeah, real good, no reason not to get him. Two copies of uh, Destruction Tyrant Gratigigant. So when uh, for every card you eat for his engor he's got Engorged, and then for everything you eat for Engorge, he gets plus 5k. And if you ate three or more things, you draw a card. So this is your other first stride option. You, you can use it to, um, you know, attacking for 41 on first stride turn means if your opponent doesn't have a perfect guard, they're taking it nine times out of 10. Um, and then also it can help you a little bit if you're behind, like you can just throw garbage down and then get another card off it and more attacks and stuff. So uh, quite a good first stride. Um, honestly, there's not really any other good strides in there, so that's why it's at two instead of one. One copy of uh, Destructive Equipment Hammer Dewalt. Uh, again, there aren't really any better options. Uh, his skill is that when he becomes engorged, again, he has engorged, uh, he, uh, if you engorge two, you choose something in your opponent's front row, retire, and he gets plus 3k. This more or less was made obsolete by Gaia Dynast, but again, there's not really much you can do. It's kind of the thing you're going to go into if you're behind, because you can go, all right, well, I'm just going to kill two things and pop something in the front row. Um, I really wish Tachi's gave us something like a Wailing Thava so you could, like, you know, make up lost territory, but oh well. Um, four copies of Absolute Ruler Gluttony Dogma. If you don't have four copies of this card, you probably should not be running the deck. No, definitely should not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so he's got Engorge, and then GV2. Uh, I gotta read the full effect, sorry. So, uh, you flip a copy of him when he becomes Engorged. If he ate three things for Engorge, you may play the cost. And then, uh, if you do, he gets plus 10k. And then red text, at the end of the battle that he attacked, if the number of units retired is five or more, you re-stand him and he gets drive minus two. So drive you would drive minus one, sorry. So he has two afterward. Yeah. Ugh. So uh, this thing gets you five drive checks, and due to Gaia's stride skill, it will get you more attacks, and it's your finisher, and I don't really need to sing this thing's praises. It's a good card. Um it does suck a little bit if you're behind because you can't get your restand off, but you have other stuff now, so it, it's a little easier to, you know, it, t it took a lot of the weight off of uh, Dogma having to do his Dogma thing, but still a good card, so. Uh, let's see. One copy of Seabreeze, because this is a stride deck and you need to stride, and this is my proxied Seabreeze, the ruins of great nature. Forgot to switch, sorry. Um, two copies of Iron... Armored Chancellor uh, Dimorph Phalanx. So if you have the same or less rear guards than your opponent, he gets plus 5 day shield. Considering this deck eats rear guards for a living, that's probably going to be the case. Um, very easy to proc. So 
One copy of uh, Cliff Authority Retainer Blockade Ganga. So his skill is when you guard with him, you can eat a rear guard, and then he gets plus 10k shield, and you pick two rear guards, and they get red text. When this unit is put into drop zone, you put it back in your hand. So this doesn't say when this is, it doesn't, the ability it gives does not say when this unit is put into drop zone from R, which means you can guard with this, retire a back row, pick your two grade twos in front row, give them this ability, then intercept with them. So that's, you know, 36, 40, it's 46, so that's no passive, you know, if your opponent's vanguard's attacking for 26. Then they die. Then they go back to your hand. So this thing, and it, it's laughably easy to proc. Um, it, you know, it, it can refund your, like, field, or if you're like, well, I don't want Sarko Blaze there, because I'm going to call Tank Mammoth and Gigant Flame the next turn. You can just get it out of the way instead of having to retire over it. So, very nice. Um, I have a second one, but I don't think I'm going to use it, just because, like, the thing you retire as cost, the only thing I can think of that actually helps you is um, the Full Fire Elk, which I don't run in this build, but is pretty funny. Uh, if you, like, I'll, I'll just explain it. So Full Fire Elk, when he's put in a drop zone from R, you pick a unit, and if it hasn't gorged, it becomes engorged, which means you can pick your Vanguard, and then because both things are Gaia, when it's artificially engorged, the GV2 goes off, and it's a 16k base. So that's pretty nice. Uh, I ran Full Fire in here at 1 for a while just so I could do that, but I found that the gimmick wasn't good enough to merit it besides with the Ganga turn. So, uh, yeah, one Ganga. And then one Dismal, because Tank Mammoth is important to protect, and, uh, yeah, it's good you guard to have. And sometimes you can cuck VMAX with it. Oh, that's true, you can, but that's Nobody not... Nobody plays that clan. <laughs> what a shame. I mean, play Dungaree. What? Yes, play Dungaree, Nexus Court, play Dungaree. All right, well, that was the, uh, the updated Gaia deck list. If you have any comments, rate, comment, subscribe, we'll be sure to uh, make fun of you, and we'll see you next time.